Hello and welcome to the V200 and V-Series Overview, presented by Hemisphere GNSS. Uh, the Marine Technology team consists of myself, Matt Steele, I'm the Product Marketing Manager uh, for the Marine uh, Markets, as well as Martin DeKevitt, who is the Sales Manager for the Marine Market. Both uh, Martin and I have been in the GNSS business uh, for a good amount of time and we're Definitely excited to show you uh, the V200 and the V-Series uh, product line. The agenda for today is uh, the V200 Smart Antenna. We're going to talk about uh, what it's replacing as far as our current product line, um, the features and benefits that uh, come from the V200, uh, as well as the benefits of multi-constellation. Uh, from the V-Series family, we're going to talk about uh, market applications, uh, positioning performance, heading performance, uh, activations and subscriptions uh, and the overall product line. Um, we're also going to touch on the Atlas Global Correction Service, uh, the Hemisphere Support Team, as well as some general next steps of what you can use uh, to find out more about the V200 or the additional Hemisphere product line. To start, the V200 uh, will currently be re replacing uh, the V104 uh, and the V102 GPS compasses. Um, in order to make this uh, possible, we had to design the V200 um, to meet both uh, accuracy uh, needs. So the V200 uh, comes in two, uh, two versions. Um, one is a CAN version and one is a serial version. Both of these versions uh, have a scalability to work uh, at the same level as a V104 or the same level as a V102. Uh, to put that in perspective, the V104 uh, currently works at about 2 degrees of heading accuracy, and the V102 currently works at 0 0.75 degrees of heading accuracy. Um, so the V200, being one, one hardware set, um, can meet the 0 0.75 degree heading accuracy of the V102 with what we call the enhanced uh, heading activation. Um, and the V200 as a basic heading device um, will automatically meet uh, better performance than the V104, which is actually 1.5 degrees of heading accuracy. So one product uh, replacing both uh, the V104 and V102 uh, with no sacrifice in terms of uh, heading performance for either market. Some information about the V200 smart antenna. Um, it is a multi-GNSS signal support uh, system. So it does support uh, multi-constellations being GPS, GLONASS, Galileo, Bedu. Um, it uh, is a single frequency uh, antenna uh, or smart antenna, so it will only work in a single frequency setup. Um, again, we touched on the scalability of the position and heading accuracy. Um, so it is uh, scalable in terms of positioning. Um, it can work as an autonomous SBAS or an Atlas Basic type um, system, uh, depending on what the activations are. Um, the heading, again, we talked about that as well, is, uh, you know, as, as its basic format, um, it'll achieve a 1.5 degree heading accuracy um, with the enhanced uh, heading activation. You can work that up to or scale that up to 0 0.75 degrees of heading accuracy. Um, all of these all these products, including the V200, are Atlas Correction uh, Service capable. Um, so again, this will support uh, Atlas Basic uh, on land as well as offshore. Um, and it comes as an all-in-one GNSS compass, which means uh, the GNSS board, uh, the interface board, and the GNSS antennas are all integrated into one enclosure uh, with a set separation for the antennas. One of the great things about a GNSS uh, compass is that there is a reduced impact in terms of uh, magnetics and far north and south latitudes. Um, there is a, a current uh, compass safe distance, obviously, from electronics, um, but it's far reduced uh, impact when it comes to magnetics compared to a traditional style uh, compass. Uh, also, again, as I stated before, um, there is interoperability with uh, NEMA 2000 as well as serial, serial applications. So there is uh, a CAN NEMA 2000 based um, SKU or, or, or version of the V200, which is ready to be plugged and played into a uh, standard uh, NEMA 2000 backbone. 
Um, as soon as it's plugged in, it's ready to output uh, both heading and positioning messages um, and really takes very little for integration um, into an already designed network. The VT100 does have an integrated uh, gyro and tilt sensor. Um, these will help in, uh, in any times of, say, GNSS outages or uh, interruptions. Um, it does help for, help for uh, faster uh, reacquisition um, as, as well as um, to kind of guide us through uh, any potential outages or interruptions for a short period of time. Uh, it's roughly about one degree of, of accuracy loss um, per minute up to upwards of three minutes. Um, and that happens again when there's a GNSS outage or interruption, uh, whether you're going underneath the bridge or you're in busy waterways um, where there's some sort of uh, blockage to the GNSS uh, antennas or system. And the V200 is also set to work uh, and provide position and heading as well as pitch, roll, and heave. Uh, additionally, the V200 uh, is a real simple installation. Uh, it comes with three mounting options. Um, the first mounting option is a low profile surface mount. Uh, essentially, you take a cradle, um, attach it to the vessel, uh, and then the low profile surface mount is connected to the V200 and it snaps into place for kind of easy mounting. Uh, a more higher profile uh, version of the surface mount is available, which allows you to use the same cradle, um, just has a little bit more of a um, an increase in height, so it can get you over any other potential areas for uh, interference, um, as well as gives you some clearance um, uh, advantages as well. And the final option is the pull mount, uh, which is a standard one inch uh, pull mount uh, found in a lot of marine um, uh, applications. Uh, it's easy to use, you, you rotate on, the, the actual uh, cable goes up through the middle, um, it's a really clean uh, clean install um, and really easy to set up. The great thing about the V200 is that it's also a small form factor. Um, its overall height or overall length is about 35 centimeters, um, so pretty small, uh, easy to set up, uh, very compact, but a very powerful GNSS compass. Uh, as far as integration goes, again, we've kind of touched on this uh, from a CAN or NEMA 2000 standpoint. Uh, it's really kind of plug and play ready to go uh, into, you know, applications such as like autopilots, um, chart plotters, or like an AIS system. So what are some of the benefits of multi-constellation? Uh, multi-constellation, for the, for the most part, gives you more satellites, which allows you for to be a little bit pickier in terms of uh, the measurements you use. Um, you know, as you can see here, from say the V104, V102, we have about seven GPS signals uh, or satellites being used. And if you look at the V200 on the right, um, you have upwards of 16 being tracked and used at the time. So you almost, you overly, you actually double your available satellites, um, which allows for, you know, cleaner measurements. Um, it also helps boost um, the already pretty stellar uh, anti-spoofing technology that Hemisphere has in place. Uh, it allows, um, any kind of discrepancies in terms of measurements or time signals or time to signatures um, to be vetted a little easier and uh, you know and removed in terms of anti spoofing. So um, more you know, multi constellation provides you know more satellites, better tracking, better measurements, and more protection in the end. So what are these different? Uh, devices used for. I mean, so the V200, we consider that kind of a recreational product. Um, whether it's, it's either basic heading or it's enhanced heading, it still kind of falls within the recreational market, which is used mostly for sports fishing, uh, virtual anchoring, AIS systems, uh, autopilot components, uh, as well as chart plotting. Now, as we move into the other VS uh, V-series uh, products, we'll see Things get into more commercial and professional, specifically the V123, the V133. So the difference between a V123 and a V133 is that the V133 does everything the V123 does, but the V133 also includes Beacon, uh, and they're both IMO certified. Uh, so full on wheel marked, um, all the necessary alerts and benchmarking have been completed, uh, and it's a full and complete IMO system. Um, these are ready to be plugged and played into, say, autopilot, autopilots, 
uh, can be used in hydrographic surveying and in any type of bath uh, bathmetric works. Now if we go to the next level up, we look at the professional market. Uh, we have two products ready to uh, lend a hand in this area. We have the V500 um, and the VS1000. Uh, both of these are multi-frequency, multi-constellation, uh, both running our, our patented Athena RTK engine um, and uh, provide uh, great levels of precise positioning uh, as well as scalable heading in terms of the VS1000. Um, having separated antennas, you can push that out to about 10 meters uh, and that's when you start seeing like a 0.01 degree of heading accuracy. Um, these, both of these devices can be used on container shipping, uh, pipe routing, cable laying, you know, hydrographic surveying, as well as in a, a dredging environment. Positioning performance. Um, so for the V200 and the V123, V133, um, the two areas uh, we'll, we'll see in terms of service level is uh, SBAS for sure and uh, Atlas Basic. So Atlas Basic can be split into two pieces. One is uh, on land or onshore, uh, which would be an activation, a one-time cost. And then you also have Atlas Basic offshore, which is a subscription, but it's been uh, uh, drastically reduced um, to be competitive. Uh, these are important, Atlas Basic is important in areas that don't necessarily have an SBAS type um, uh, correction available. Um, so like say uh, Australia as well as um, South America and areas of Africa where there isn't a uh, clean SBAS based uh, uh, system in place. As we move up into like say the V500 and VS1000, that's when we get into the other levels of Atlas. So um, uh, multi-frequency multi-GNSS uh, brings about the availability of Atlas H30 which is about 30 centimeters of accuracy 95%. Uh, Atlas H10, which is about 10 centimeters of accuracy, 95%, and then it gets us into our RTK realm, uh, where we get to 1.5 centimeters, uh, two parts per million. So, different heading levels. Um, like I said, we, we've talked about the V200 basic. Uh, again, that's uh, 24 uh, centimeter um, separation baseline between the antennas. Gives you about two degrees of heading accuracy. It's probably closer to 1.5 degrees of heading accuracy. Uh, the V200 uh, Enhance gets you that uh, 0 0.75 degree heading accuracy with the same antenna separation, about 24 centimeters. Uh, and then we get into the V123, 133, which gives you that 0.3 degree heading accuracy at about a half meter. Uh, the V500 is also at a half meter, um, but again, you're taking advantage of multi frequency, multi GNSS. Uh, and that gives you a 0 0.2 degree uh, uh, heading accuracy. And then again, we've, we've covered this, but the VS1000 uh, at a 10 meter baseline or a 10 separation will get you that 0 0.01 degree uh, heading accuracy. So really it's the separation of the antennas is really where the heading uh, performance comes in place. Um, but again, Given the the size and uh, the compactness and powerful uh, engines behind these these items, um, you really can't go wrong with either one. It just really is market dependent and application dependent. As far as activation subscriptions go, uh, we've touched on this. Um, the V two hundred will work uh, for Atlas Basic. I mean, obviously, it's also available for update rates such as uh, ten hertz, twenty hertz, as well as up to fifty hertz. Um, when we talk about the V123, 133, it's in the same realm as that uh, two, V200. Uh, you'll get those, uh, you know, 10 hertz, 20 hertz, 50 hertz, as well as uh, Atlas Basic and uh, SBAS performance. Um, the V500 again moves us up into that multi-frequency, multi-GNSS uh, uh, area where we can start looking at uh, H30, H10, and RTK. And again, same with the VS1000, that gets us into that uh, Atlas H10, Atlas H30, and the RTK um, activation area. So a little more information about the V123, V133 smart antenna. Uh, this is an all-in-one GNSS compass. So again, that's that, G, that GNSS board, the interface board, and all the antennas are all in one enclosure, um, comes out to one connector, uh, it's one cable for power, one 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 paid, uh, cable for power and data. Um, so 
uh, easy to install, really, really, you know, straightforward. Um, and uh, it is IMO certified, so it's IMO wheel marked. Um, we have all the alerts in place, all of the uh, update rates in place, um, and all the benchmarks uh, required to meet uh, IMO certification have been met by the V123 and 133. Um, the V133, again, is uh, beacon capable, um, so that's something to keep in mind as well. Um, and both of these products also uh, are supports Atlas Global Correction Service, so you can use uh, Atlas Basic onshore or offshore with this product one. For the V500, uh, again, it's an all-in-one GNSS compass, so you have, you know, all the pieces and parts underneath one enclosure. It's again one one connector coming out, easy to install. Um, you know, simple for cable for cable management. It's easy. It's one cable in and out. Uh, for both power and data. Um, this is a full Athena RTK technology um, board inside of this product. Um, so you do get that, that hemisphere uh, patented RTK system. Um, again, it is multi-frequency, multi-GNSS. So you get all the constellations from GPS, GLONASS, Galileo, Beidou, QZSS, uh, you name it, we kind of, we kind of have it. So, um, and uh, it supports uh, Atlas Global Corrections, and this is again one of those that you can do the full Atlas Basic onshore, offshore. Uh, you can do H30, Atlas H10, or RTK. Uh, and great for again container shipping, cable laying, um, and any of those really high end precision uh, items you need hydrographic surveying and dredging. Uh, the VS1000 GNSS receiver. This is a great versatile GNSS receiver. Um, when I say versatile, I mean it has uh, USB, CAN, Ethernet, uh, serial, um, one PPS out, I mean dedicated connector for that. Um, this is really a, a product that um, can be used in multiple applications. It has uh, flexibility and uh, precision kind of to no end. Uh, you have scalable position, again we talk about uh, from SBAS all the way up to RTK, and uh, scalable heading accuracy. Again, we talk about the separation of those two antennas, the primary and secondary. The further you push them out, the more heading accuracy you're going to get, and this is the, the exact product that will allow you to do that. Um, has full support for Atlas Global Correction Service, uh, and is a full, uh, fully authorized Athena RTK technology product. Um, so you get that full-on 1.5 centimeter RTK accuracy um, at two parts per million. So Atlas Global Corrections. Um, for those of you that don't know, um, we offer uh, an Atlas L-band global correction service. Um, it is uh, does support multiple uh, constellations. It supports GPS, GLONASS, Galileo, Beidou, QZSS. Um, and it is uh, powered by our Athena technology. And again, we've talked about the scalable service levels, you know, between Atlas Basic, H30, and H10. Um, really simple to use uh, and is, is covered across the world here. So speaking of coverage, here's the Atlas Global <laughs> Coverage uh, map. Uh, you can see that we basically cover uh, every major landmass uh, as well as waterway uh, in the world. Um, it's 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 easy to set up, easy to use. Um, you know, it's it's a basic L-band correction service that provides uh, unbelievable performance and flexibility. Um, just touching on some of the accuracies for these um, Atlas Basic. Again, you're going to see about that 60 degree centimeter, uh, 95 percent. Uh, H30, you're going to be see about a 30 30 centimeter. Um, about 95% as well as uh, H10 would be about that 10 centimeter, 95% um, uh, performance. Um, so, and these are consistent, uh, consistent benchmarks that we can we can hit on a consistent basis. So, um, it's, it's, a, it's a great service um, to be available to everybody. Um, and when our support um, for our support team, we do offer an Atlas portal. The Atlas portal is a really easy to use um, uh, site. You go in, uh, you input your ESN number inside it. Uh, it gives you kind of the options of whether uh, if you want to update to say if you have an RTK capable product 
or you want to again do Atlas uh, H10, H30, or just do Atlas Basic. This portal allows you to get easy access to activations, subscriptions, and really allow for um, um, for a, a quick response on, on a lot of these these items. Um, so you get the activation or subscription um, emailed to you immediately, and you can input that into your system um, uh, as soon as you have it. Uh, integration support, we do have a great uh, uh, team of uh, engineers and technical support uh, specialists that will work with uh, customers uh, from a GNSS and a firmware standpoint as well as from a software standpoint. Um, if there's ever any issues, uh, they'll walk you through point by point and uh, ensure that you get the, the service and uh, help that you need um, to, to get back out in the field and, and, and get working. Uh, and our global technical team. Uh, our team continues to grow uh, year over year. Um, we have, uh, you know, uh, the Asian market, Australian market, uh, North American, South American market, and the European market uh, are all, um, um, we have dedicated technical resources for those areas. Um, so you get 24 kind of seven support um, and, and, and proper feedback in a timely manner on this. So, well, that's it for uh, the webinar. You know, if you have any questions, um, please feel free to reach out to Martin DeKebit or anybody else from the Hemisphere sales team. Um, it's been a pleasure being able to talk with you and uh, give you uh, some information on the V200 and the V-Series uh, family product line. Um, I hope you have a great day and uh, you have uh, a wonderful afternoon. Thank you so much.